Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. It is Thursday, March 17th, and that means it's St. Patrick's Day. So happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, it is about 2.25 in the afternoon. I have a Zoom meeting in five minutes, so I'm going to quickly try and get this grocery haul filmed. Um, I've already worked my shift at the school today. Um, I don't have to work at the store today, although they have tried to call me in a couple times but for a shift today, but I do have some volunteer work I'm supposed to be doing tonight, so I'm planning on doing that. Um, so I'm going to quickly show you what I picked up at Superstore right now, and then I'm going to go jump on my Zoom meeting. So I just want to bring you a fairly short, It's I mean, I got a few things at the store, but it's not, not a super long grocery haul. But this is what I picked up, and it's all strictly from Superstore today, so let me turn you around and we'll get started. Okay, so one of the things I picked up were some pork chops. They are on sale for $2.99 a pound. So these are not my daughter's favorites. She's not a pork chop fan, but that is okay. We'll have these a different day, but that, I've got four packages. I got one is 9.12, one is 8.44, one is 9.11, and the other one is 8.91. So these will be good to stock, to stock up the freezer. I make these quite often either in my crock pot with cream of mushroom soup to make like a mushroom gravy, or I will take a craft salad dressing like an Italian or Greek feta and oregano or sun-dried tomato salad dressing and marinate them and then bake them in the oven. So that's quite often what I do. Or sometimes I think there is also a pork version of shake and bake. So sometimes I do shake and bake pork chops. So there's different ways you can do these. And then shopping hungry, these were, I think these were $3 each if I bought, if I bought quantities of two, yeah, they're two for $6. So I grabbed two of the same Swanson TV dinners, Salisbury steak. They're actually that's, there was only one or two flavors. That's why I got both the same. No name brand offer, uh, no name brand broth was on my offers. And I'm getting low on beef broth, as I mentioned, I think in a previous grocery haul. But this was, I think they were $1.58 a piece. So they were not the greatest price right now. So I just bought two because I've seen them go on for as low as a dollar. But they're on my offers, so I grabbed two for the time being. And then if you saw in my last video, or one of my last videos, I picked up a bag of Cadbury mini eggs at Sobeys because they're actually a dollar cheaper per bag at my store than they are at Superstore. However, they are on sale for $16.99 right now at Superstore. So instead of, they're normally $19.99 at Superstore and they're $18.99 at Sobeys minus my discount for working there, but they're on for $16.99 right now at Superstore. I bought a big bag last time. There's, I have a, I mean, obviously they're for eating, yes, but I also have a recipe that I make around Easter time that is for um, a cookie that you put these in, and I haven't made them yet this season, but I want to. I'm actually going to be participating in a YouTube Easter treat collab, and that's what I'll probably be making for that, because that's the one thing that I usually do make that's kind of unique to Easter. So, because the other bag isn't, it, the other bag isn't gone, but the egg, other bag has been opened and has been snacked on a little bit. So I want to make sure I have enough of these mini eggs to be able to make a couple, two or three batches of those cookies. So I thought I would get another bag, especially given that they're on sale. So they were $16.99. I got a container of quick rise yeast. I usually I buy bread machine yeast because I use that in my bread maker to make my cinnamon bun dough. However, I did see a video uh, by another YouTuber the other day that she had a recipe for white dinner rolls on there and it it sounds relatively easy so I'm thinking of giving it a try but it calls for just quick rise yeast not bread maker yeast so I decided to grab a thing of quick rise yeast for that um let's see if I can find it on here uh 4.99 for that and then old mill bread was on my offers so I grabbed two loaves of white bread that's what I usually prefer to have for my sandwiches or toast is white bread so I grabbed two loaves of that the grapes were on my offers so I got a container each of red grapes and green grapes the grapes, I believe, were $4.88 each. And the bread, I want to say, was $1.69 each loaf, I believe. And then there was another offer for 2,000 points for every $20 spent in the pet department. So I grabbed a bag of cockatiel seed for our two cockatiels and two bags of budgie seed because we do have seven budgies here. The budgie seed is $7.29. I, I think it was... I want to say $6.99 or something before, so it's gone up a, a little bit. Cockatiel seed, $5.99. That's about the same as it was, although in past, sometimes they have had an offer for it to be like $5 a bag if you bought two. That hasn't happened in quite some time, though. So I just bought one for that, but because we have seven budgies, we go through budgie seed faster, so I got two of those. Oranges, not on my offers, but this three-pound bag was advertised in the flyer. Let's see if I can find them here. How much were they? They were $5.99. So I'll grab just one limit of four, but I just wasn't sure 
if I bought more than one bag, if we would use them before they went bad or not. And then bananas, not on my offers. However, they, we just are out of them. Uh, they were, I think, 16, 69 cents a pound, I want to say. So they were two twenty two. So that is everything I picked up today. So let me give you a breakdown of the points that I got. I received, I got spent $20 on pets, on pet food. I think it was just over $20. I got the $2,000 because it was $2,000 for every $20 spent. Uh, 2,000 points for the grapes. And 600 points for the old mill sliced bread. And 600 points for the... It says no name canned chicken, but it's, it's it's basically canned chicken or beef broth. So that's for the broth. So I spent a total of $121.88 after tax. And that gave me 5,200 points. As you can see there, I also took $20 cash back. If you can see, I earned 5,200 points. And that puts me at 177,039 points, which is... I'm at still at the $170 increment of PC Optimal points. You have to redeem four groceries in $10 increments. So right now I'm just shy of $180 worth of points. And again, remember, I did use up all my points that I had uh, buying groceries for Christmas. So I started from scratch in January. So it's March 17th. And I'm almost in less than three months. I've almost earned $180 worth of points as far as free groceries for PC Optimum. So that's not bad. And that is what I got for today. There was a couple of other things. They had lean ground beef on two ninety nine a pound, but I didn't see any, so I think they must have sold out quickly this morning. It's the first day of the sale. There's a couple of other things on my offers. You can defer up to four offers a week if you don't think you're going to use them. So there's a few that I've deferred to next week. Um, I've deferred three so far. One was Garnier Fructis uh, shampoo and conditioner stuff. Um, one was VH1 sauces and I can't remember what the third one was I've deferred so far. There was three that I've done so far and I have room to defer one more. And I'm debating between the PC butter, um, and tampons because I, PC butter, President's Choice brand butter is on my offers again, but it comes up quite often and I don't, I have quite a bit in my fridge. I don't know that I need more right now, except that the recipe that for the cookies with the mini eggs takes unsalted butter. And I'm not sure how much of that I have. So I might need to get some unsalted butter. So I'm kind of holding off on that to see if I need to get some of that or I can defer it. And the other item that I'm not sure about is the Playtex tampons because I checked the price on them today and they're not on sale. So they're like almost $8 a box. That's not the greatest price, but I need to check my closet here at home and see how much I have if I need to get more. And I'll defer one or the other because I've deferred three items already. I can only defer one more. So I'll see how see how things are going and defer one or the other and buy the other one I guess and uh, but both of those items they seem to come up pretty regularly on my offers so it's no big deal even if I were to defer one and just let the other one go it's not going to be a big deal either way anyway that is everything for now I am actually running three minutes behind here I, my zoom meeting started three minutes ago so it's not one I have to speak in or anything where you just mute yourself and you're not on camera so it's no big deal but I'm going to end this video here so I can jump on that and get busy with the rest of my day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new and we will see you next time. Of course, leave a comment down below and say hi if you're one of my newer subscribers. I see I've gone up a couple this week. So definitely welcome. Thanks for subscribing. And I hope everybody's having a great week. It is starting to melt here, which means unfortunately I'm getting some water in my basement. That's not a good thing, but... It's nice to see spring starting to come because we have had a ridiculous amount of snow and it's going to take a long time to melt all of that. It is going to take a long time for all that to go away. So anyway, hope everybody's having a great week and we'll see you in the next video, everyone. Have a good week.